Sonny always does a good job as a father in the family. After receiving the latest news about Dante, he will take time to visit his son. Honestly, Dante's action to save Ava is very proud. Yet, it exceeded his authority and caused him to be on leave from the PCP for a while. Sonny understands that it is a heroic act and deserves to be commended. He hopes the police officer will soon return to the job he loves. Sonny then shares with him how wonderful his wedding with Nina was. The boss will have many good words for his new wife, a woman he thinks is perfect. Dante is very happy because Sonny's life has turned a new page with more happiness. But you know, happiness is often short-lived in the soap world, and Nina's dark side is about to be revealed. Meanwhile, Cyrus will receive criticism from some residents. He's just pretending to be a good man, and always following God's shining path. Not everyone believes him, especially Laura Collins. She will give her brother sarcastic comments that made him extremely angry. We fear that as his resentment grows, he will cause even more trouble for the town. Speaking of anger, Joss is stunned when he accidentally overhears the conversation between Michael and Nina. She discovers that her brother is keeping a big secret about the true face of Nina, the person who cruelly put Drew and Carly in a difficult situation. For Willow and Sonny's hearts, Michael agrees to keep quiet. Additionally, he will make some demands for Sonny's new wife. Unlike his brother, perhaps Joss will have a different solution. The rash nature of youth may cause her to declare to everyone what Nina did to her mother and Drew. Either way, she wants Willow's mother to pay for her wrongdoings. Felicia is excited about her inspiring work at the hospital. Unfortunately, she will make a big mistake that will be difficult to fix. While Stella helps her solve this problem, Cody decides to become a braver version. He will eventually tell Mac about his true identity.